Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In today's video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to create and configure an FTP server. If you need a fast, free, and reliable way to share files, the solution is to rely on FTP servers. The best tool available is FileZilla. FileZilla FTP is important because it enables network administrators to securely manage file transfers, set user permissions and access controls, and troubleshoot transfer issues. Meanwhile, regular users get a simple and reliable way to access and share files across a local network or over the internet. I'm explaining this from Windows Server, but you can follow the same steps on Windows 10 or 11. Now we'll learn how to download the FileZilla Server app. Open a browser and type Download FileZilla Server in Google Search. Download the Windows version, click the link, and then click Download FileZilla Server. The application is lightweight and won't take long to download. Open your Downloads folder. It's best to close any installation programs or other applications while installing FileZilla. Double-click the installation file. When the installer launches, the first screen will be the welcome screen and the license. Read it if desired and click the Agree button. Here, select the installation components. It's best to keep the defaults. Click Next. Here, select the installation location. I recommend leaving it at the default path for clarity and permissions. Click Next. Here, select how you want to run FileZilla Server. Leave it as Install as a Service and select Start with Windows to automatically run the server in the background. Installing as a Windows service means the server starts with the system, useful for servers and headless machines. Click Next. In this step, select the administration interface listening port. The default port is 14147. This port is used by the admin GUI. Make it the default to avoid confusion, and don't forget to enter the administration password. Click Next. It will give you some advice on the password policy. Click Yes. Select the Start with User Logged In option. Click the Install button and wait for the installation to complete. When finished, click the Close button. This will open the server page. Close it now as I'll be configuring the server first. We now have three shortcuts for the FileZilla application on the desktop. An icon to manage the server, an icon to start the server, and an icon to stop the server. Double-click Start FileZilla Server, and then double-click Administrator FileZilla Server. Click the Connect to Server button. When the FileZilla Server interface opens, you will be asked to enter the server address and port. Usually, the address is 127.0.0.1, and the port is 14147. The Administrator password field is empty by default. Enter the password we created and select the Save and Connect automatically to the server when startup options. Now click Server at the top and select Configure. From the Settings page, select FTB and FTB over TLS on the left. On the right side, click the Passive Mode tab. Then select the Use Custom Port Range option. Save the to and from ports to a text file, as we'll need them later when configuring Windows Firewall. Then click the Apply button and OK. Next, click Server at the top and select Configure again, this time to create users. From the Settings page, select Users from the left side. To create a new user, click Add, and at the top, type the username you want. Then make sure the Require a Password to Login option is checked. You can also register them as a member of a group. If you've already created groups, I'll make another video explaining everything in detail. But the most important thing for now is the initial configuration that will help us connect. The next step is to specify the default path and native path. Under the default path, type STP, for example. And for the native path, create a folder, for example, on the desktop, and give it any name you want. Right-click on it, select Properties, copy the folder path, and paste it under the native path. Then select the access mode according to your preferences. I will grant the user read and write permissions for this folder. And don't forget to enter a password for the user we created. 
and then click Apply and OK. This user will have the right to access and connect to the FTP FileZilla server. These are the initial settings that will allow us to connect to the server. Now I'll create a rule to allow access to the server through the firewall. From the Windows Defender Firewall page, click Advanced Settings on the left side. On the left side, select Inbound Rule. And on the right side, click New Rule. Select the port and click Next. Now in the specific local port field, enter port 21, comma, then a space and the port we saved in the text file. Enter the formula as shown in the example above, then click Next. Select the Allow Connection option and click Next, then Next, and enter a descriptive name for the rule, and click Finish. You can now close the firewall, and the last step is to know the server's IP address by executing the ipconfig command. Note that this address is local, and if you want to connect to the server from a non-local computer, you must have a real IP address on the server. This point is very, very important. Now that we've finished setting up and configuring the FileZilla FTP server, move to another computer, and I'll explain step-by-step step how to connect to this server. In a Google search, type Download FileZilla Client. This time, we'll get the Windows version of the client. Click to download the application and wait for the installer to download. After the download is complete, open your downloads folder and double click the FileZilla installation file to begin the installation process. On the welcome screen, click the agree button. The installation is simple and quick. You just follow the default options. In the component selection, select the desktop icon option and click next. I recommend keeping the default path so that Windows can manage updates properly. Click Install and wait for the application to fully install and then click Finish. The application will open immediately. Before connecting, ensure that the client device can access the server. Both must be on the same network or have the IP address and firewall rules configured correctly. At the top, you will see four fields, which are host, Username, password, and port. In the host field, enter the server address. And in the username field, enter the FTP account that you created earlier on the server. And enter the password, and the port is 21, because we did not change it during the server setup. Then click Quick Connect. You can save the password or not, depending on your preference. This tells the server to immediately attempt to connect using the information we just entered and the connection will be established. If you see login successful, this means the connection was successful and the FTP server is working properly. At the bottom, the left side of the FileZilla window shows local files and the right side shows remote files on the FTP server. This is the beauty of FileZilla. You can simply drag and drop files between the two sides or click on any file or folder and select upload. I'm going to run a test now. Open the FTP folder on the left. You'll find the OK FTP folder we created on the desktop. Then, on the left side, select any folder you want to upload to the server and right-click on it. Select Upload, and the upload will start immediately. A message will appear indicating that the transfer is complete. If you look up, you will find that the status is successful. Try another folder in the same way. The files are transferred easily and quickly. We can also further verify that the server is working properly. Return to the server. Open the folder we created on your desktop, and you'll find that the files have indeed been successfully transferred. I repeat that I explain the steps on a local network. If you want the server to be public, you must use a real IP address and connect from the client to this server's address. I also repeat that these steps work on Windows 10 and 11. The FileZilla FTP server gives you complete control over sharing and managing files on your network. With a few simple steps, you can create your own secure FTP server, manage users, and enable efficient file transfer between clients and the server. Mastering FileZilla FTP will make file management faster and more efficient. If you liked this video, click the like button 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell button to stay up to date. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.